Welcome back, guys, to another episode where I feature a friend I've made in Japan. We're in Nijo Castle right now, and we're just about to talk Japan Beautiful. topics. Yes, yes. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, hello. My name's Kai Anderson. I am in Kyoto for a year. I met Scott. We're yes. we going by Scott. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Scott, <laughs> at our language school, our mutual language school that we attended, Arc Academy in Kyoto. Yeah, in my in my spare time, basically, I make I make YouTube videos over at uh, youtube.com slash clear and sweet. Clear and sweet. Nice, nice. Yeah. So th you're probably one of the first friends that actually I feature on the podcast that does YouTube. So yeah, yeah. It's it's gonna definitely be a little bit different because it's nice that there's someone who is used to making content. Oh, absolutely. Because other people are my friends tend to be a little nervous and stuff. So it's it's, it's understandable though. It's yeah. a set of skills that you have to learn, just like anything else, to <laughs> how to maintain a like interesting and good conversation and good flow in a podcast yeah. situation. But I thought it was really funny though because. I had no idea you did YouTube until yeah. after school ended. Oh, really? <laughs> or like at the very last week or two yeah. Yeah, 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 is yeah. when we talked about it and discovered that both of us do YouTube stuff. Yes. Which I thought yes. was hilarious. Yes. Um, no, it, it is It is really weird. But I, I think there's some confluence of, I don't know, people that are adventurous enough to come to Japan. True, and true. Somebody true. that would be adventurous enough to put their life on YouTube. Yeah. Their thoughts out there. Maybe. Maybe I'm stretching. Yeah, I'm sure other people also did too. But it was funny. Do you, you, I'm sure they don't care about their names, but yeah. you know Mix and Ply, right? How they they asked me straight up, oh. do you do YouTube? <laughs> oh, yeah. You got that energy about you. Is, <laughs> no. that what, is that what it is? I don't know what it was. They, they well, cold called it? They, they were like, they called, YouTuber, called <laughs> YouTuber, <laughs> they, guilty. God. They just like told me, they asked me and I was like, yeah, how did you guys know? And they... They just said like, "Oh, you have the voice yes. or something." Yes, the presentation, <laughs> like right, the the mannerisms, the the YouTuber affectation. I feel like I'm not very typical YouTuber. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, I what's typical YouTuber nowadays? I don't know. Like what's Mr. up, guys? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a typical YouTuber either. Like all my content is like hours and hours of me talking about specific yeah. anime shots and everything. It's like, I don't know. Yeah. It, to be honest, though, I've I've opened with. What's up, guys? In a lot of videos. <laughs> yeah, like, hey there, party people. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it, well, it's, it's, it's fun to, to just try different things, right? Because when you're when you start off YouTube, it's like yeah. you just try whatever and oh, copy yeah, totally. whatever you like. Totally. And a lot totally. of people start off with that line. So, so you always go with like my my driving force is just to create the content that I would watch and I would consume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was kind of mad going on YouTube and just like not seeing any type of critical analysis or anything, thinking about these stuff that I liked, the games and anime that I liked, and, and talking about it in ways that I thought was relevant. And there are plenty of channels nowadays that do stuff like yeah. that for bigger video games and, and things, but you got to fill that void. And I don't know, it's maybe it's a niche void, but I think you're allowed to do that in Definitely. today's Definitely. market and landscape. I'm not making buku bucks or anything <laughs> on a, off of advertisements. I'm not getting hundreds of thousands of views, but I think YouTube is almost cathartic in a way, yes. right? Yeah. Like, it's... It's, you were talking about at, at lunch, making your mark on the world or like establishing some type of presence of sharing yourself with, yeah, with yeah, your audience. Yeah. I didn't quite say make your mark on the world. It's more so just like putting your stuff out there because it's a form of expression as well as just if people can find some sort of lesson from, from like your stories and all that stuff. I don't know. There's like a need in me to, to want to share things basically. Exactly. Uh, okay. And it doesn't necessarily have to make a mark. It's, it can just be something that like people enjoy or like think about I think you're anything. underselling yourself then. Oh, that no, is no, making no. a mark. That is <laughs> making an influence on people's lives. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Comment below if you if you feel that Scott has left an influence on you. <laughs> Thanks. Anyways, Japan. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Cause, cause that's, Japan, yeah, yeah, Japan. I think it was kind of funny that both of us were the only Americans in, in <laughs> our were. Japanese class. We were. That was really weird. Because in I'm, I'm in the third year now, and, and there are more Americans there. Oh, there are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in our class, no, it was just us two. And, you know, America's big enough. You're from California. I've never been to California. I'm from the <laughs> East Coast in Virginia. And it's like, it's almost two different countries. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and there was another friend that I made who was also American. But he was in... Itikumi, which is like the first level class. Yeah, so. But yeah, class overall, I want to talk about it. How was yes. how's your experience? How what? I mean, we've talked about it before right. already, but right now for the yeah. podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was weird because we both had come in with some be background knowledge, right? Japanese, right, right. right? Like you, there was a placement test at the start. Yes. And I had studied a while ago, and I I took the N three, uh, and I failed it by five points. But 
it was enough background that I knew a lot of verb conjugations and verb forms and right, things. Right. And so it was weird coming into a, a structured, you know, going from complete self-study of Japanese into like this structured thing of like being in school again at 35 years old. It's like, <laughs> what, what am I doing? You know, you're never too old to learn. Right. But yeah. it's still at the same time, it's, I don't know. It's like getting up and going to the bathroom and having to say, can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> you know, like that, 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 that's weird. Uh, but the actual language learning process, I thought it was, I don't know what you felt, but I, I got a lot out of it. I felt like I got a lot of, out of it too. Yeah. I think there's such a huge difference because I took Japanese in high school. Okay. I, I had some practice with it back then, but I forgot most of it. Yeah. Because high school was like oh, yeah, super yeah, yeah. long time ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's like applying it in language school where the teacher only speaks Japanese. Yes. There are some students that don't speak English. Yes. Very few, but... Shout out to Pedro in our class. <laughs> Pedro from Mexico did not speak English. Nobody spoke uh, Spanish. Yeah, that was hard for him. Yeah, you know. it was. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I sat next to him a good amount. Yeah. I, we did our best to just talk in Japanese. But sometimes it's hard because, like, you don't know if you're speaking correctly. Right, if your intent was understood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're using it correctly, yep. Yeah, and you're speaking with another student who also doesn't know. Right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, they're not going to correct you. <laughs> yeah, well, some people do. Do they? There was... I'm not going to name names, but there are some classmates who, when I talked to them in Japanese, they would tell me that something meant something and that I was wrong. But then when I, what I would do immediately was ask the, the sensei. Yeah, 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 and the yeah, sensei yeah. would tell me, oh yeah, I was right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah. you, you can't convince those people because like they see you as another student yeah. uh, that doesn't know yeah. as much. But the False confidence is like the most dangerous thing in the world. Yeah, yeah. so you, you have to immediately just go to someone who they yeah. will actually yeah. listen to. And, the, and there's more subtle stuff, too. Do you know the one that came up recently? Is the There's a verb to need in English, right? Mm -hmm. And in Japanese, it's iru or, or yeah, yeah. imas, right? Uh, irimas. Irimas, irimas, right? There's a go on verb. But they don't use it for, like, need. They use hitsugo, hitsuyo ga aru. Like, there is a need for something, right? Or, or the translation would be like, yeah, they sort of, they sort of use it for like want almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I interact with or, a lot of Japanese people mm -hmm. uh, on a daily basis, and I hear iru a lot, or iranai a, a lot yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. And it feels more like want rather yeah, than need. Right. Right, right. And there's like those subtleties that you just getting the dictionary definition you don't, you miss out on completely. Yeah, yeah. It's, very, it's a very, it's a very repetitive language or like there's phrases that are used so much and so often. And learning the what's appropriate in what situation, that, that always struggled with me. You can't like directly translate it. Yeah, a lot of yeah. the time. I think the more I, I'm speaking it with my friends and the people around mm -hmm. me that are Japanese, the more I sort of just internalize the meaning of it without translating it into English. Yes, right. And I think that's what language should be or exactly. at the end goal, right? You're not like translating everything you're saying in, in English when you're just talking in Japanese, right? You exactly. Sh you shouldn't be doing that. Exactly. Um, if you're trying to master the language. Um, but yeah, that's just what I notice. Things happen automatically. That's why sometimes when I talk, I'm like, I almost want to say the Japanese word more. Yes. Because... Yes. Because it, it has the meaning I want. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you realize that like people that are bilingual or raised with that situation have, do the flow back and forth between it all the time because yeah. it's better or easier or more applicable to say something in another language. And you'll even split up sentences. Yeah. Because, it, you know, kiyotsukite has a different meaning than, oh, be careful or, you know, like, mm -hmm. take care. You know, it has a different feeling. Yes, yes, it does. Yeah. And I, the other thing I want to say... I, you know, I'm big into like AI and, and, and neural networks and learning, but that's literally what you just described there of like, you make the pathways in the other language. That's, that's the brain connecting it in that right way. And that's the same way that the AI is currently learning of like understanding that, yeah, Ojo Sama, you know, doesn't, doesn't mean the same thing as, you know, Osama and Ojo Sama is king and queen in English, you know, like it doesn't. It does translate as that, right. but the pathway is between the the Japanese words and the correlation. And I'm glad that you're getting there, honestly. Mm -hmm. I think that's the that's the true step, and I'm behind you 100% of the way in that take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think so, too. Like, what I loved about school was that it reinforced so much that I... Some things I already knew, but a lot of things I didn't as well. Yeah. Some things you think you know... But you don't really know it yeah. until you start using it yeah. to the point where you really internalized it, right? Yeah. And I think that's what my whole experience was for, like, I think 60, 70% of the class material 
I have encountered before. Right, right, but, right. But it's I somewhere in there. Yeah, yeah, I didn't use it yeah. in speech or talking and all that stuff. But I have the knowledge, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But but when you but when you order stuff at a restaurant and then you've you've used that type of vocabulary and, the, and like all that. And, yeah, uh, I still struggle with that actually. Right. Really? Like, <laughs> yeah, I feel like ordering stuff. No, but but like what they're saying sometimes yes. confuses me. Okay, so here's the thing. Japanese very polite, right? The yes. long, long structures of these very uh, the keigo. Uh, yeah, the keigo, very, very formalized words. And the way you be formal in Japanese is just adding more syllables to the <laughs> language, and the using like words that are, you know, mean the same thing but are different and, and hard to understand. It, my life would be so much easier if instead of being polite to me as a, <laughs> yeah. as a person, the servers just talked to me like I was their child. Yeah, I yeah, would be yeah. like, yes, thank you. <laughs> it's so much easier to understand, and it's kind of why. I don't use Kego for in places where I should, you know, you're supposed yeah. to use it when you're meeting respectful or people that are older than you and, and things like that. And doctors, I was talking to the doctor and I was just like, you know, I need the prescription, you know, like mm-hmm. non, non Kego. I think most people in Japan will understand because you're a Jap- Japanese learner. Right. You're not like from here. Right. Of course, I think culturally though, they will have some sort of internal feeling that like, oh, why is this person like yeah. talking to me like this? Like there's, we're not close, we're not. But are you ever gonna overcome that on Canny Valley? Are you ever going to get past foreigner status, even if you had perfect Japanese? Yeah, that's, that's a fair point. I think for me, like it's odd because I'm Asian, so I can right. pass as Japanese. Right. So when I say stuff like that, I feel like it matters more to them because ah, I see, I see. they see you I and they're see. like, okay, yeah. clearly white guy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so they'll give you more permission to, yeah. to make those mistakes. But for me, if I do that, they'll have that sort of, it's not, it's not even like active. It's, it's sort of passive, like subconscious, like this person could be Japanese and they're talking to me like this. Gotcha. So there's, gotcha. yeah. So for me, I, I try to be more careful yeah, because, nice. because I think, I messed up a little bit because oh, yeah. there's like share house friends that know some of the neighbors that are adults. I mean, we're adults, but <laughs> they're older than me. They're like in their forties. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just initially, I just talk, right? So I just talked in normal Japanese for me. That's casual conversation now. Right. I switched over all the moss form into casual form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For how I talk to my friends. Right, right. So I had such a hard time switching back to moss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I was talking to them, and I was like, oh. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not being polite right now. I like that you're making an effort because I've kind of know that I can't get everything 100%. So I want to focus on certain things, and that's using the right word in the right situation. And then just like stuff like politesse just fell by the wayside so quickly. <laughs> it's like I, I don't have space in my brain. Yeah. To to be doing to be switching back and forth between moss and how respectful should I be for this person? Yeah, yeah. That's it's it's fair as as a learner. Yeah. 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 Are you, are, were you overwhelmed by anything? The second level course in our, our school was pretty <clears throat> tough. All things considered. You think so? Yeah. I think everyone sort of said that, but yeah. I felt it was not that hard. Oh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I just thought like, like I said, like previous exposure helps a lot. Yeah. Like if yeah. you just go over all of Genki yeah. or even our book, what mi, Mina no, Mino no, and Ango, right? Mina no, yeah, yeah, yeah. no Nihongo, yeah. th- then if you just go over all of that, yeah, like once, yeah, you will have yeah. bookmarks, bookmarks in your head where you're like, okay, yep. once I actually engage in this material and go into a class where we basically go over it completely right. in full, where you're right. doing example sentences, talking to each other, using it, right. it's like, that's reinforcing what you have been exposed to before. But if you learn it for the first time ever, yeah. and then try to apply it afterwards, and then move on to something else that's new, it's yeah. hard to retain it. I get what you're saying, yeah. and I, I totally agree. Also, I think that like the, the a lot of the stumbling block for me was that I'd never written anything before I got right. Out. I remember you saying that. Yeah. And I was like, holy crap! Like, I not not written anything. So I was copying on the on the <laughs> test, the placement test. I was like literally going back to previous parts of the thing to copy the the kanji or the letters <laughs> and yeah. the hiragana and katakana. So I had to catch up quickly on that. Uh, they make a sukanji, and then the other thing was like everything was taught via the mas form, the polite form, the right, keigo, right. and uh, things like ikanakareba narimasen, I must go, right? Yeah. But ikanakareba narimasen. Yeah, yeah, which is a very formal way of saying I must go, and is like almost never used. <laughs> like, like you would say ikanaito, or or you know, 
yeah. something like that. I think for me, I, I personally use Ikanakya the most. Ikanakya, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the Tokyo, right? There's the Ikanaito Akan is the Osaka Ben for saying the same thing. But it's like no one says Ikanakareba Narimasen. Yeah. You know? I, I haven't heard that. Yeah. 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 And, and inside from like like a formal video, you know, like a respectful, like educational video. Yeah. I definitely do think my mindset was very much the same while I was learning. I was like, yeah. just use, just learn all the things that I will actually use in real conversation. Right. right. It was just that one instance where I met that. You know, someone who was just... Clear, <laughs> clearly, you needed to use respectful yeah, yeah, yeah. language. And you're Where like, I was oh, like, oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Why is this so hard? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And I think for... Uh, but I think it was the reverse back then. It was like yeah. me always talking in mass form, yeah. like in, in high school. Yeah. And never, ever using casual form uh, in high school. Uh, um, and when I first talked to people, it was only in mass. I couldn't figure out casual form yet. Uh, but then it just flipped gotcha. because... Yeah, yeah. That's what I listen to all the time now is casual form. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. With my Japanese friends. Oh, I, po I popped off so hard. If you can see here, I'm wearing my Hibike Euphonium shirt. And <laughs> season three of Hibike Euphonium is currently airing. We're both wearing anime shirts today. <laughs> yeah. I do. This is my, my partner. Came, my partner came to visit and they were like, nobody's wearing anime t-shirts. <laughs> and I'm like, well, it's still cold out. They probably have their over shirts on. They got their anime shirts underneath. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I was watching Hibike Euphonium and they used grammar that i had just learned in the school and nice. i understood the grammar nice. not looking at the subtitles and i like had this like happy moment yeah. <laughs> of like accomplishment and achievement yeah. that when, I, when i'm watching anime these days it's like i can understand like i think way more than i understood before yep oh yep yeah with no totally. subtitles totally and i think that's one of the joys about watching it now it's like yeah i can understand the context more yep because the translations sometimes just don't do it right? exactly exactly no 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 absolutely and, and i can there's specific examples in my mind but i can't remember any of them right now of course but yeah there have been things where i listened to it and i said boy that subtitle i would have gone with something else other than that what they yeah. went with there and yeah some of the friends in the share house yeah we're yeah. watching oshinoko yeah and i was i was just there right i wasn't yeah. watching with them necessarily sure, sure. But I couldn't hear it. So I would hear stuff that's being said and I, I understood yeah. a good amount of it. And I was just like, this is, this is awesome. This, this, this is, is cool. Awesome. This is good. And that's, you know, that's why you do it. That's why you, that's the joy of learning a lot. I have a question for you. Yeah, go for it. Before you started, like, what was your strengths in terms of, like, could you read a lot? Could you mm -hmm. listen a lot? Could you? Yeah, yeah. No, it was definitely reading. It was, uh, like I said, I had never written anything whatsoever. <laughs> And you don't get that many opportunities to talk or speak, but I think that I like writing in English in general. And I think that I was always able to craft an, an interesting thing or like put, if you don't know the word for to submerge, you would say to put underwater, right? right. Or, or something like that. And I think that like using that to create a sentence is, would be really fun. And I like doing that in, in right, Japanese right. languages. It's a puzzle. It's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. You use what you have and what you know. Right, right, right. How can I convey this idea to this person? Maybe not in full, but they get it. But it's so idi idiom idiomatic. 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 There we go. Yeah, there's a, the, my partner was here. We went to a okonomiyaki thing where they put the tenpenyaki. It's oh. they put a hot grill in front of you basically at this restaurant and then they cook yakisoba and okinomiyaki and the stuff right right there in osaka oh uh, yeah yeah in yeah, osaka yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's famous for yeah, like it's famous yeah, yeah. for and we, we were the only people there and my partner's big into oka they'd watch videos of okinomiyaki right. many many years and they were like oh i want to i want to get the real experience <laughs> and we were talking to the guy who was cooking our okinomiyaki the entire time nice. so i got i got like i paid for the okinomiyaki but i also paid for like an hour and a half of actual like real, real japanese yeah. <laughs> That's like this nice. guy. and he he said oh your partner has a very small face and i was like <laughs> excuse me <laughs> like d did not register to me and i was like thought about it for a second then i said Homa, homanate are you complimenting them? right 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 and and he's like yeah yeah of course <laughs> yeah a very small face and uh, i don't know there's i feel that almost discourages me japanese language is so idiomatic that i feel like it's almost i'm never going to remember all the little specific ways of Instead of saying they're pretty, you would say I have a small face. Yeah, there's there's just a lot of stuff that it's interesting. The most the more that I learn, the more I realize like how little I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Uh, it's obvious, right, in the grand scheme of things. You know that in the beginning. But it's just like when you're in it and you just learn it and you just like see see it. 
in front of you like that. It's like, damn. There's a name for that, the specific that specific feeling. Yeah. But uh, do you think there's a, an opposite effect on coming out that after you're done, after you've been, oh, oh yeah, you'll, yeah, hundred you'll, percent, you'll look back like the like watching anime and be like, damn, I actually did learn a lot more than yeah, I yeah, realized. Yeah, yeah, I retained yeah, yeah. a lot more than I realized. Definitely, but, I I look back sometimes in the beginning where I knew like probably less than 80% of what I know now, you know? Yeah, yeah. Definitely, I've come a long way. Yeah. And yeah, feel, I feel happy about it, for sure. Yeah, it's um, rewarding. Yeah, it back really then, yeah. I felt like I talked better than I listened. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy, because, like, yeah. in any language, I feel like your listening is usually better than your speaking, right? It should be. It should right? be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's so, the way to correctly learn So my listening it, was right? just really, really bad, yeah, because, too. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I guess it was just bad. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you would think with it. anime that you have an unlimited amount right, of right, listening right, right. material there, but it's it not, should be good. But it's not true, because you're yeah. just looking at the subtitles the whole Right, time. exactly. Reading that. You have to watch it raw. I did that for oh. Pretty Cure, which is just for, it's a magical girl series for, like, four-year-old, six-year-old girls, right? So it's not inherently difficult. I should be able to understand most of it. And that was a big milestone for me. It was like, I can turn the subtitles off and yeah, still yeah, get yeah. what's going on here. That's good. Yeah. yeah. But I noticed it changed, obviously. Thankfully, <laughs> it should have. Where my listening is better. Oh, really? Like, a lot better than my, my speaking now. Ah, uh, so you, you, I think you've been having a lot of, from what you've told me, you've been having a lot of direct interactions with native speakers. Yes. A lot of the time. You've been seeking those out. Too. Yeah. So I think that is smart and it's yes. incredibly <laughs> valuable and, and is exactly the way you should be doing it. Yes. Maybe I need to put myself in more situations where I'm not speaking English uh, or not, don't have the option. To speak yeah. I, I noticed my, my Japanese improved the most yeah. when I was absolutely forced to speak in Japanese yeah. with friends that I made who have no English whatsoever. Right. Yes, exactly. Um, exactly. It, it definitely improved the most during that time. And I feel like it's actually slightly declined a little bit because I've been hanging out with more people that I just speak English with. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I, I, I feel like for me, like learning Japanese is just uh, something for fun, something that yeah. I'm doing as a challenge. It's something I enjoy, right? Right. I can take it at my own pace. I don't necessarily need to like... Right. You don't have to pass the N2 to get a job here. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Other people seem to be learning at a much more pressured pace and yeah. all that stuff, yeah. which I admire them for. But for me, I, I know my own goals and I know myself. So I'm like, you know, I talk English, it's fine. If I talk in Japanese, that's cool too. And um, th that kind of segues into just like how how wonderful or kind of charmed this life has been for me yeah, over the yeah, last yeah, couple yeah. months. Of life. Let's talk about that. Like, yeah. life in Japan, man. Like, yeah, that's it's so cool. I don't know. It's so good. And I don't know whether it's a factor of, like, it's always been like this or just, like, the weak yen compared to the dollar makes it easier for Americans <laughs> to be like, oh, yeah, this is great. That's true, that's true. Um, I think that's a big thing, know. though. I, or, I really do think it's a big thing. Or, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, totally. Because totally. the, the, the money thing is just, like, a big barrier for a lot of people but i feel like right now is a great time absolutely absolutely and then the the other thing i i also winter i love winter here like oh. uh, in japan yeah it could, because i've been here during spring and the beginning of summer before right and we're in kyoto we've stayed in kyoto for yeah for almost five months now right so it's like winter the weather is just so much better in my opinion i like the cold yes early spring was good too but like once it hit later spring it's been warm and i think it's going to be rough in yeah. the summer that's what i hear it's Summer's been it's brutal. been slightly uncomfortable for me personally yeah, i just really love cold yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i get you well you should move out of california then <laughs> but yeah no the climate's been fantastic honestly like in in i don't know where i'm from there's not like a spring really i mean you get like one week in the sp in this in the spring in the fall where it's like moderate and nice and everything and then it's boom <clears throat> winter or boom summer so this i don't know just today i don't know, it's today was like good. 73 degrees yeah yeah overcast uh, yesterday was a little hot <laughs> yeah it was yeah. like 80 80 something we have air conditioners now oh, so true sure. yeah but i need to bring an umbrella around when it's Mabushi, or the too sunny. You you do you do you see that a lot, and then you you think like nobody in America does that. That's whack. You're gonna, you know, get, yeah. get some sunglasses and a and a hat. Yeah, but yeah. no, you kind of really, you're like, eh, I can see it. I, could, I I respect it. Actually, I I actually do that in America. I know I'm weird. 
Oh, do you? <laughs> not do many, you with the umbrella? Yeah, not many people <laughs> do that in America. I am definitely weird. It's a cultural taboo, sure. Yeah. It, but I, I my yeah. skin is too sensitive. Oh, I see. I feel you. Yeah. I burn. I burn really easily. I grew so. up in the beaches. Mm. Like, I couldn't stay outside for more than five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what was your experience life in, like in terms of living situation? Like, yeah. where are you staying? Yeah. And we can talk about Kyoto, too. You know, like how oh, it's amazing. a lovely city, man. It's just everybody's so chill. It's now you go to Tokyo or Osaka and the big cities and they're like, they're like pushing. They got somewhere to be. Like, they got a <laughs> life and like problems and stuff. And people in Kyoto are like, we're going to let it ride. You know, it's going to, it's going to. Things yeah. will be all right. It's very nice here. It's uh, very relaxing. Yeah, it really is. And you're not that far from Osaka if you ever need to do anything. Uh, yeah, it's I super highly, close. Highly recommend Kyoto. I, I used to live close to Kyoto Station. Yeah. And from Kyoto Station to Osaka, you can get there in like under 30 minutes. I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really, it's really, it's, I said it when we were walking here, this is the best suburb in the world, yeah. <laughs> I would say. It's also not that pricey. It, it costs like, no. I think 400 oh. something yen to go to Osaka. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. That's yep, that's yep. like to the three, the three dollars, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe less. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I think I paid. I played board games in Osaka, and the entire trip all the way there cost me maybe seven dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Gas money to go that far. Is yeah, yeah. Exactly. Way exactly. more. Exactly. Exactly. Probably pay um, like twenty something. And that goes along with like the living situation that you asked about earlier. Is I rented a pretty big one bedroom apartment. Uh, pretty big by Japanese standards, right? right, right like right. a lot of apartments are just like one room. And yeah. You have a small little kitchen and a bathroom area, and then you know just a living space with a bed on it. But I've rented a thing that actually has a door and, and a, a little bit fancier, and it's also with one of the companies that speaks English and like mm. sets up for oh, nice, foreigners, nice. and so it, it's a bit more expensive because of that. But I'm paying five hundred and seventy dollars a month. That's not bad for yeah for my own apartment. Yeah, that's solid. Yeah. And and you could get even cheaper if you yeah, just yeah. went somewhere. My share house, I think, yeah. per month is around four hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, that's insane, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. insanely low. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it might be even lower now. Just a little bit, like three hundred eighty something. Yeah. yeah, but then you have shared living space. All right, shared. Li- it's good because you get to practice your Japanese, yeah, right, with totally. the people there. Because there's a lot of like uh, students, Japanese yeah. students. Yeah. There's also some that are shakaijin. Yeah, uh, like, uh, dang it, I don't know. I can't speak English after so stuff like that. <laughs> they just work in offices and stuff like that. They're adults, you know. They're they're working and stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah, it's 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 fun to live in a share house. It does come with its own downsides as well because some people are people. The people are people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no people matter where you're gonna be people. People, people are gonna yeah, be, interact with even, people. Even sucks no matter where you are. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> there's there's bound to be some people that aren't I'm exactly yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. your cup of tea or like mm, that vibe with you or just right that things happen where it's like not ideal. Yeah, there are definitely some if you can handle it, you sure. know. Yeah, people. Yeah, but, but if you want your own, you know, if you wanted to be alone, you could have found. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's where I was basically alone in my first share house because yeah. it was more like an apartment in that share oh, house. Okay, I got you. Like you could interact with other people. Yeah. Um, and funny story. So in my first share house, I met some people, right? Sure. And I should do there it. was this person that I met yeah. that apparently was my neighbor, like uh, next to my room. Okay. And I didn't know that yeah. until later I found, I found out that she was friends with like someone, a friend that I made. Mm-hmm. And then like, we were, we just all like met up again. Okay. Okay. And then she just told me all, all the stuff. So you didn't even know that despite living next to her. Yeah. 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 That can happen. I don't know. I, you're, you're, you seem to be a lot better at meeting people here and engaging with people. I stay in my room and play video games <laughs> you know, often. So I see, I see. Which is kind of counterintuitive, but at the same time, I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's basically like you do what you want to do wherever you are, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know that I would, even if I was in the most interesting place in the entire world, would be out living it up. I don't know. I also don't drink alcohol, so I'm like... I don't drink either. Yeah. yeah. yeah what are you, what are you, not Some of the people at school are, you know, hear stories from Casper. Shout out to Casper. <laughs> you know who you are. Clubbing it up. Living it big. Doing it. Whatever. I don't know what the kids say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Millennial. But no, if you want any type of life, I think you could make it. I, I had thought about buying a house here too. Like, what, what, what would you need to do for permanent residency? I'd need to get a job, I guess. But yeah, it seems like a good place to live is what I'm saying. Definitely, yeah. definitely. So I've just been like thinking like, yeah, I, I'm always trying to be very, very aware of how much information I'm like giving out. 
Oh, you mentioned this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm far too public. I, no, no, it's, it's totally fine. You yeah. can you can say whatever you want. Okay. But like for me, I'm thinking, like the story I told you earlier was completely botched because I just left some stuff out. Yeah, you you seem to be deliberately parsing a lot of the yeah. information. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, I'll just I'll just say it in full. It should be fine. Sure. Like, there's no harm in this sure. story in particular. Yeah. Okay. So basically. At the time, the girl that I was dating yeah. was the one who, she's my girlfriend now. Oh. I've, I've never said that in online. <laughs> yeah, we're opening up. We're getting, we're getting real here. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I, I just don't like talking about other people that are close to me because it's like how much information I release about them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want them yeah. to be uncomfortable. Yeah, 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 I get it. I get it. But it should be fine. Basically, during like when I was out, I got like a message from my girlfriend saying like oh t- do you know this person yeah and she showed me a photo but they were wearing a mask and i was like no i don't know the person no, no. Wearing a mask. Oh, no. <laughs> and apparently they told me their name and i was like oh yeah i, I do remember meeting that person yeah. like we barely talked at all but like, yeah 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 and then we all met up for a dinner yeah. and that's when we talked and they were your neighbor they were my neighbor <laughs> and she knew my girlfriend because they went to she studied abroad here in japan uh-huh. where they happened to be in the same university and just met through that way. Oh, I see. I see. Small world. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it's like really, really cool yeah. to have talked to her in that sense. Like, yeah, yeah. We were way more friendly with each other knowing that we had a mutual <laughs> friend. And she told me about how, like, I told her about how I, I heard her talking on the phone once. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. The walls are actually really good in that share house. It's yeah. not that... The one that I'm in now, it's like thin walls. Oh, like you no. Can hear the oh, other it's the worst. Like, it's oh. muffled. You can't hear exactly yeah, what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't hear what she said either. I just heard laughing and stuff. Oh. And I would hear, like, my, my other neighbor sneeze sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say, bless you and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah they don't say that. What are it's they really saying? funny. What's the thing? They never say it. They don't, they, they don't, they say, don't anything. say anything. They don't say anything, yeah. No. But yeah. I just thought the whole situation was hilarious. She was complaining about the guy next to, to her. Yeah. Because he was always, like, talking. He wasn't even... I, initially, she thought he was talking on the phone. Yeah. In French. Yeah. The whole time. So it's not you. Uh, it wasn't me. It wasn't okay. Me. The yeah, other, it couldn't the have other been side. me because I, I can't speak. French. <laughs> <laughs> so she was complaining. I was saying, like, oh, like, this this guy is like talking on the phone. But, like, apparently he was just talking to himself for, like, two hours at 1 a.m. Oh, boy. Till 3 and she couldn't sleep, so she had to move rooms. Oh, It was boy. so intense. <laughs> and I was like, wow, this is so many crazy things I'm learning about, like, the old share house that I did not know back then about, like, who, this person who was my neighbor. And I, and I think, too, this, like, teaches the lesson, another lesson you can take away from this is just, like... <clears throat> be open-minded and just face everything with a smile and say yeah let's do it you know like try and put yourself out there and like yeah, that yeah. And traveling would really teach you that pretty quickly of just like meeting people is really cool and people are generally really neat to talk to in a lot of ways yeah and like doing things is never going to be never going to be bad so don't like proactively limit yourself or even if it is bad then you just don't do it again you know yeah, yeah. it's like it, it, i feel there it come up against so many of these like it sounds trite it sounds dumb but you see so many of these opportunities where you're just like, yeah, I will go into this restaurant that I've never been into before right, and right. does not have an English menu and, and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, I'm so, I feel so lucky because, yeah. I mean, lucky in the sense that like all my Japanese friends that take me to places to go eat, yeah, I, I would never have thought to go there. Exactly, exactly. Like, yeah. It's like full Japanese menus, no English at all. Yeah, yeah. They, um, use the, they use the number symbols instead of the Roman numerals for right, numbers. Right, right. <laughs> Like yeah. a two is like two parallel lines. Yeah. No, like, no cool. photos on their menus either. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is kind of like that. And I'm like, I don't think I could actually do this by myself. I went to a Katsudon restaurant with that exactly. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so many of my Japanese friends have given me that experience, and I feel so happy and grateful to have them. Oh, totally. And I'm like, damn, like, yeah. I really love my Japan experience because of that. It's, like, it's so. Yep. Unique. Yep. Like it's stuff I would never do as a tourist. Exactly. I can only exactly. do it because I have these friends that have made these friends. Exactly. And it's only because I put myself out there and talk to the people and try to engage with them. And exactly. Uh, meeting people uh, broadens your horizons. And like again, these are the most like road platitudes of like <laughs> you know. Yeah. Put yourself out there, and then you. Yeah. But then you 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 live them and you experience them, and it's true. Uh, for me, it's been. Um, Pokemon Go actually has been a, <laughs> has been a huge thing, nice. and, and like meeting people from different uh, parts of the world and native Japanese speakers too, and all kinds of things. And um, 
man, just just in the there's an imperial palace in Kyoto or an old imperial palace. It's not the capital anymore, but the um, in the national park. It's kind of like a central park thing, and you can just go there and play Pokemon Go on this on the nice, nice. all the time and just be like, hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah I realized yeah. you also. Did that with some of the classmates, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys would play games yeah. together. That's yeah. that's really cool. Yep, yep. Like, I always felt like, damn, you know, I don't play Pokemon Go anymore, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, you want to be part of the cool. social yeah. group? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was a, it was a good avenue for meeting people. Totally. I think there's a an app called Meetup. Yeah, it's, yeah, I have it's it. Not yeah. A, yeah, it's not a dating thing or anything. No, it's no, no, no. Just friends, yeah. completely meet strangers. That have the same interests. Sometimes right. it's just like simple walks, right. language exchanges, all that stuff. Board games. Is I've what never. Oh, well, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never used it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have it downloaded, but I yeah. never used it. Yeah. Um, I tried to use it at some point, but I plans just changed, and yeah. I hung out with friends I knew instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> isn't it that? Isn't that always the way? Something <laughs> easier to do that. But I, I met yeah. friends sure. that used the app and made good friends through exactly. the app. Exactly. So I'm like, exactly. it, it works. It works. It exactly. can work. So definitely and, try it if you're, you know. And it, and it can work too. I don't know if you live in a big American city, it probably worked the same. But like this yeah. is, I don't know, living in uh, Richmond, which is a small city. And uh, a lot of America is like, you have to drive a long way to get the, to a certain place. But like Kyoto is very walkable. And it's like very, very easy to get to Osaka. So you can like go places for things and do things. Yes. You know, you yeah. can find whatever you Whatever, I don't know, if you're into underground music scenes or this, certain things or... Yeah, my friends really like going clubbing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I never went with them. Oh, no, me either. I would, ne- I would die. But, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but they, they were like, yeah, let's go clubbing, blah, yeah. blah, blah, yeah. drinking, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'm like, you guys have fun? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen that. <laughs> but you can do it, you know? Whatever you're, whatever you're into. When I see, I saw a rock climbing wall the other day. Yeah, and I was like, ah, oh, rock climbing. I mean, my, my friends met a lot of people through that, too. So yeah. I interacted yeah. with Japanese people and everything like that. Yeah. Made good friends, good connections. So it's really cool. Yeah. It there's, makes it worthwhile. There's so many ways. Like, mm. But I feel like you can't do this if you're a tourist. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, you can't do this because oh, you don't totally. have the time. You, you made an itinerary to come here for, like, a week or two. Right. right. And, like, you got to follow it. You got you to gotta go gotta yeah. go to kill me, Zadera, <laughs> you know? You don't have the time to establish relationships yeah. Yeah. and build, like, a, a friendship, a real friendship. Nah, right? You're doing the touristy thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's why this experience is so different and so, like, yeah. incredible for me. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I visit my friends' share houses. I... I like people yeah. there know me because I'm the one who visits like every week yeah, or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm the guy that just yeah. like talks to random people and yeah, like exactly is practicing their Japanese. So I'm talking to a lot of Japanese people there too. Exactly. And I made friends with them and like I'm hanging yeah. out with them now, and it's it's just fun. It's just break out the Hajime Mashite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> people generally are really really nice. And they, are. they are. I think for me, I consider myself lucky because I I like talking to people and meeting new people and yeah. I find it fun. Yes. Um, yes. I know some people find it frightening. It, or intimidating. Intimidating or yeah. maybe like their energy is drained by it. Or right, like right. No, I feel similar. I feel similar. Yep. Yeah, why wouldn't we talk to this person that's doing the same activity that we're doing right now that, yeah. you know, we don't know before, but, you know, all you, it, you get you get so far with just a smile and a and Good conversation. Like, hey, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Like, it's tough, just, isn't it? Yeah. I really do think a lot of it is just being curious in yeah. people. Yeah. And just just talking and asking them questions. And right. some people they're not really reflective. They're not reciprocative. They don't really ask you back. Yes. Sometimes you that's carry a conversation. sometimes that's okay. Yeah. Like I can I I can hear how fun how much fun they're having just talking about what they are talking about, and I'm I'm totally fine with that. Right. I've gotten used to that. Basically. Right. I think back then I was a lot more butthurt about like, oh, this person does dare about me, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm like, ah, it's, it's fine. I'm learning so much from hearing them talk. So, um, yeah. Like I'm getting a story out of them. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting yeah, a lot yeah, from yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. whenever I find that person that does ask me how I'm doing, ask, does ask me, oh, yeah. what about you? Or like, what are your interests? What are you? Blah, blah, blah. And, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. finally we find something where we click and we just talk about something back and forth, right? Yeah. That's when it gets like fun fun and that's the, that's those are the friends that i'm gonna like for sure like want to interact with again right oh you're saying so much of this stuff that like 
I don't know, growing up and, and realizing that I had autism like throughout my, all my childhood and then not realizing what it was until I was an adult and then realizing why I had to learn all the, how to navigate a, a conversation and learn wow. artificially all those things about, you should ask somebody about their hair because their <laughs> hair looks different than it was today and yesterday. And like learning that all the hard way. Yeah, uh, yeah but yes, I agree with you that yes, you, you know, there's a world of information and possibilities and like, even if you were searching for a job or something, yeah. then going to like a meetup thing and like talking to somebody and like, yeah, so what do you do? You know, what's what's work like? Or what do you, you know, stressful, you know, to get them talking about their thing or whatever they like or whatever they're into or whatever they're passionate about. That's the key. That's the, that's the key to unlocking so much of this realm of social possibility yeah. that's out there. And and yeah, it's it's totally worth it. It's totally, I think I think that's part of what building connections, like deep connections, is. When I say connections, I don't mean like oh networking or whatever. Oh okay. Uh, Although it works for networking it, too. It does. It does. Yeah. I, I just yeah. mean like connecting with people. Gotcha. Like gotcha. 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 Feeling like you are friends with them. Gotcha. And caring about them and forming a bond. Gotcha. That's usually, that's that's what I mean. Gotcha. Specifically. Like a strong inner interpersonal. Yeah 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 yeah. That's what I want yeah. to do with the people I meet and find interesting. Yeah. Build a connection, a bond. Maybe I should use bond more. Nah. Yeah. It's, it's like a, like that. a better word like to describe that. it. Yeah. Because I know whenever I say connection, some people misunderstand. Yeah. I think of it in terms of the other. I like, bet there's a Japanese word that we don't know. That <laughs> yeah. That would be more relevant or apropos. Yeah. Like shinyu. Shinyu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bestie. <laughs> right. Yeah. So... Yeah. Yeah. The hair thing made me think about something when you said compliment people's hair and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. It's like growing up with a sister and also having a lot of good friends that are females, right? Yeah. Um, that are girls. Yeah. And they, <clears throat> I hear a lot of their, their stuff because they tell me a lot of their, their things. And uh, it's like processing all that information, I'm able to also almost see it more. Like whenever I see people that are, have a different uh, shirt on, oh, yeah, different, yeah, yeah, yeah. recognizing like different things, I always mention it you have the background knowledge to know right. that they <laughs> i always gotcha. mention it gotcha. like, all the time gotcha. like, even if it's just something i like that i notice i just say it yeah like immediately yeah. i think a lot of the times the key to communication is just like letting your thoughts out that's it I, like i'm sure most people think it they yeah. just don't say anything oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My, uh, my 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 dad one of the things he told me people can hear honesty or or you know can tell when you're being honest or yeah, yeah. and I, I think that goes along with that of like yeah, that's an honest feeling. That's an honest thought that you just had. And then, okay, all right. Yeah, I'll respond to that. I'm, I'm picking up on the the fact that yeah, hey, I do. I did 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 do my hair today. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think this is important to talk about because it's part of what made at least my experience in Japan really really great. Is is just like the interactions I've had with all all the different people that I've met. Not only Japanese people, but just like school friends. Yeah, and just random people I've met at the share house. Than are mostly from Europe. So. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't you can't you just extend that idea though? Like, I was watching some YouTube video where they talked about happiness and the happiest people. You know, studies of happiness. And then at the end of the day, people don't talk about how much money or what their living conditions were. Or, right. You know, right. anything. They talk about the the relationships that they had yes. with other people. I yes. Guess. Like at the end of the day, what human beings value more than anything else. And you know, like that for me too, and this is like giving too much of myself to the internet, right? And telling you all, like having started my first like real romantic relationship right. over the last year and having that be so incredibly valuable to me. And I not even realized going in that it was going to be as valuable as it right, right. but right in the middle of it, look back and say, oh yeah, this is, I get it now. I get, I, you yeah. know, you get why people will fight and defend their country or, or, or <laughs> like their family or, or, you know, their, the connections with people matter more than anything else. Yeah. And I think that's what, that's what I, I, I discovered about myself last year as well. I mean, I've known this about myself ever since I was, I think it started when I moved yeah. in eighth grade. I just like felt so sad about losing my friends and stuff, but yeah. I mean, I didn't lose the the really good ones right i i kept them right and i always made a really big effort to stay in touch with my friends i i still have friends from elementary school middle school high school college yeah i try 
I try hard. Yeah. Because yeah, you seem it matters, to put effort into it. It matters a lot to me. Yeah. And I think that's what has shaped me to be someone who has learned all these, not, I don't want to call it methods. I don't want to call yeah, it like yeah, yeah. techniques or whatever. Oh, I'll call it's, it. That fits right into my autistic <laughs> mind. Yeah, it's, uh, but it's more so just like. Everybody's a potential friend. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just a way of thinking, a way of living. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. That. I've developed into that is shaped by my history. And oh man, I talk about this very deliberately on my episode 10 video of Madoka Magica. You can check it out on <laughs> youtube.com slash clear and sweet. We talk about, oh, what is her name? The French philosopher. And she ta- she says, everything you do for another person, you do for yourself. Mm. And we are only realized by our interactions with each other. Yeah. And these are the themes that I like in the show, in yeah. fiction that I watch. Yeah, those uh, those are specifically. Yeah, yeah, those are two great. Yeah, uh, quotes. Oh yeah, you were like, oh, I got it. I got to look up her name because yeah, yeah. I've forgotten it already. Um, you only realize more about yourself like through the interactions with others. That's yeah. huge. Yeah. Like I feel like I've learned so much from, like, all my interactions here with different people. Yeah. And. Yep. Um, like you mentioned, the romantic relationship as well. And, and yeah. For me and my girlfriend here who i met in japan and yeah everything i don't want to reveal too much information but it's just i've learned so much from her and i've gotten so many new experiences thanks to her yeah and i i really really appreciate all of it it's, it's just amazing like everything it's invaluable yeah yeah can't put a price on it i guess that's the benefit of travel i just can't <laughs> opens up your eyes Yes, makes yes, you yes. makes you self self reflective and introspective. Yeah, yeah, hundred <laughs> yeah, percent. Like, uh, like I really do think this. What do you are forced to encounter and ask that question? What do I want out? Of yes, life? yes. And you're like, shit. I've never never stopped and asked that. You know, I ask myself that all the time, but <laughs> but it's 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 more. You feel it more here. Yeah. Oh you yeah. Feel yeah. It more here. You totally do. Yeah. Yep. Especially now that school for me is is not a thing. Yeah. It's like I have to really form my own schedule and all that stuff. I would say the same thing, except in reverse. That for me, now that it it's not work, is not a thing. Gotcha. You know, that I didn't have to go in every day and get stressed out about meaningless bullshit. Now I have time to think about who you want to be as a human being. Or, yeah. You know, you deal with a lot of other questions, larger questions. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of stuff I feel... Pressure for parents is another one. Oh, for me, yeah. It could be anything from for anybody. Yeah. But it's yeah. like, I definitely got questioned, like, why are you here? Like, by yeah. a certain family members. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. 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 Even friends, they ask, like, well, what are you up to? And I, I made a whole video about it, like, saying, like, oh, it's like, there's a lot of reasons, right? But number one, it's to sort of just refresh my life. Like, yeah. there's a lot of things that I feel like I want to do and try and just a whole new adventure and experience. Like, that's what I'm looking for. Right. Um, and that's not on the, the the structured rat race, you know, work your way up the hierarchy at the company type of ladder, but it's so integral to you as a human being. Exactly. <laughs> Discovering who yeah. you are. And, and, it, what be. and I think that what was missing from what I said in that video was, yeah. like, uh, th- while we've been talking about the whole human interaction and bonds and everything, it's like, yeah. it's something that I find so rewarding and so, like, it makes my life feel fuller, just knowing more people, having experiences with new people yep. the same people too of course i love my old friends i love my friends in california and my family as well but it's like i don't know there's something about meeting new people that triggers something different it's like you're learning a new story you're learning new things from them new perspective especially from another country right yeah because everyone here the majority like 95 percent are people not from America. That, yeah. That I, <laughs> yeah, and they have a different cultural background, a different like fundamental understanding about the world, assumptions, and yeah. And then you force yourself to challenge, you challenge yeah. passively, you challenge your own self by just interacting with them and exactly. recognizing them as human beings. I think I remember the name. Yeah, feel free to look it up. Simone <laughs> de Beauvoir. That's it. Nice. Simone de Beauvoir. There you go, look her up. Awesome quote, yeah. I feel like I could talk about that for for a while, but the whole experience here, I feel like has just amplified a lot of what I already sort of knew and wanted, but I've got finally received it, gotten it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It I was think fulfilling. Yeah. It was very, very fulfilling. Like we talked about this before. It's like a dream. Yeah, I mean, it really it is. is like a dream life here, <laughs> and like, and not even just like as a charmed life, but as like a, a divorced from reality. Yeah, re- <laughs> reality, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
This like, is reality. Yeah. It's possible. The, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we are still in, in what they call here genjutsu, like uh, actual literal reality, physical meat space, right? But it still seems like a separate narrative almost. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. Lacan talks about this, Jacques Lacan, in the differing realities. And, and we are living in, in, in a fantasy world that is still somehow on Earth and in the real life. And yeah. It's no less true. It's no, it can be, it can be, if you wanted it, you could live here, right? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you thinking for the future? <laughs> That's a great question. That's what I, I, That's I don't I know that out. we have an answer. I don't know that yeah, I have yeah, an answer. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know you have an answer. It's stuff I need to figure out, honestly. Exactly. And I feel like it's best that I figure it out back in California. Yeah. Because I need to experience that reality again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, because yeah. yeah, like, I feel like what I want here is different from what I want there. Right. And it's, right. it's confusing. It's, right. Um, but I know that I know that my time here is coming to an end. Like, uh, these are my last two weeks now. Yeah. Uh, the moment that I'm recording this with you. Yeah. And I do feel like I'm ready to go back. I'm ready to finally face a lot of the things I left back at home, you know? Right. Uh, it's not like I, I left it on purpose. Like, I was trying to get away, yeah, run yeah, away from yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't the goal. Yeah, yeah. But it does kind of come with it when you yeah, yeah, enter here. It's exactly. just like, oh, there's so many things that I didn't don't need to yeah, think about yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? I, I felt the exact same, right? And I even to the point where I'm like, oh, man, I should go back. I should I should want to do these things. I want to start a life with my partner, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But it reminds me of when astronauts leave the world. They, they go into orbit yeah. above Earth. And they look down at Earth and they see a small blue marble. <laughs> and they're like, holy shit, everything doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not, why are we fighting wars? Why are we, you know, and they get this like massive perspective shift of yeah, like, yeah. we're so small and so in insignificant. And yet we, you know, we need to pull out and love each other. And they get real uh, touchy-feely about it. You know, you can look it up. That's that's true. That Interesting. I, yeah, did, I didn't know that. That happens when people go to the space. They I didn't know that. get a different perspective just looking down at the world. We got to send some world leaders to space. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's exactly right. Yeah. This, this whole experience has been amazing. And I'm glad I could talk about it with you. Oh yeah, the, yeah. The, the Thank you, American. <laughs> I'm so yeah, glad that we finally got to we got to talk. That we that we uh, met each other. That and that you asked me to do this. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy that you decided to join me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm. Part of me misses school a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Like it's, fun. It's, yeah. it's fun to have something to do. Yeah. Every day. You know, just I think three and a half hours is like the appropriate amount of time to focus on something. Yeah, and then you then you don't use your brain for the rest, of, or you don't have to use your brain for the rest of the day unless you go, you know, <laughs> three and a half hours. Obviously, it's different for everyone, but I, I do feel like extreme focus. Yeah, four hours is a, is a good amount yeah. of time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and like most of I don't know, I've worked in corporate America, and most of what you're doing every day is just like on the weekend go for you, <laughs> how are you kids, nice hair, and I like you know. And then you do two hours of work a day at a corporate job. Anything else you want to mention? No. Mm. Talk about life, these feelings all day long. And it's what, it's what I struggle with. You know, it's what I think about when I'm going to bed. That's what I'm like. But I think I'm just so happy that this has caused me to be in a place where I can think about those things and talk about them true, with true. you and, and with, you know, other people. And it's not just... Yeah. And it's also not fully all amazing right like yeah, sure i think japan is overall amazing for yeah, for, yeah, for real yeah, but yeah. but it's like th there have been like ups and downs along the way yeah, sure. at least for me and i think it's good to acknowledge that because it's like oh it's not like oh everything's pure bliss but there has been some drama at the share house there has been like stuff was like people that i've met it's it's just it's not all amazing but it overall 90 percent 95 99 percent yeah. is amazing yeah anytime you interact with people you're <laughs> yeah you're gonna have some friction but you know that's you can go watch evangelion if you want to know more about that <laughs> about getting close to people and how that pushes you away and hurts you Wow. <laughs> oh, and if you like, yeah, let's do a plug here. If we're wrapping it up here. Sure. If yeah. you like media analysis, if you like talking about themes in behind uh, Japanese anime or video games or anything like that, specifically in the magical girl genre, you can head on over to Clear and Sweet on YouTube. And I talk all about themes. I talk all about, you know, about uh, the philosophies behind shows like Madoka Magica and uh, Revolutionary Galoot and things along those lines. And, yeah, hope to make a positive impact on the world. I did it just for myself, but some people seem to like it. Nice, nice. So I would encourage everybody to check it out. And I feel like this was really 
think we got we, I think we opened up I think we got ourselves out there and our perspectives and our ideas yeah, and yeah. really like hit on something meaningful so I, I will share this with with everybody sure sure yeah yeah I appreciate that yeah, yeah. oh yeah. absolutely and this was a really really good conversation like yeah. I do feel like our conversations in general are, are oh okay. yeah yeah it did. I think you're a smart guy, Scott. Thank you. I think you're gonna go places in the world, <laughs> and I think you'll you'll end up finding happiness no matter where. Thank you. <laughs> what form it comes. Appreciate that. I do feel happy now. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Me too. They, you know, they, the one of the things in school was like, write something that's not going well for you lately. Oh. Give three examples, <laughs> and I sat there at school and I couldn't figure out the three examples. I was like, I don't know. The rain made my pillow wet, and then I was like, shit, I don't have anything else that's going wrong right now. Oh, that's uh, so funny. I can't think of anything. All right, man. Oh yeah. Thanks so. for coming on. Absolutely. Thanks for letting me talk about the charmed life. Yeah, one Whatever. year, man, for you in Japan. That's one year. That's awesome. One year. For me, it's about five months. So. And even that, you still got the full experience. I yeah, think you yeah. got it. I think so. All Thank right. you guys so much for listening yeah. and uh, watching. Got uh, to the end of the video. Yeah. <laughs> Catch you guys in the next one. Later.